up boys and girls and welcome to another weekly video it is jd here and guess what we are in the month of june all right we are in summer no more school it's time to kick back sit by the pool chill outside and just chill because we don't have to go through school all right so for this month we have a new question okay so our question of the month is who can help you do everything? Now let's think about it. Who can help you do everything? Do you, do you think you know the answer to that question? Who can help you do everything? Yes, Jesus can help us do everything. All right? He can help us be patient. He can help us love others. And um, he can help us um, have peace with others. Um, he can help us with everything that we need to do. All right, so... For today, um, we're going to think about different times that Jesus can help us um, in different places and um, in different times in our life, okay? And so, um, I'm going to give you a situation, and I want you to tell me, what can Jesus help you do, all right? And so, here's an example. If I am at the park, what can Jesus help me do? What What can I do? Um, that Jesus wants me to do. Hmm. Well, I can share my toys with other kids. Um, I can let somebody go down the slide first before me. Um, what else can Jesus help me do? He can help me be patient by um, letting someone swing before I get to swing. Yeah, those are different things that we can do. Um, and so I'm going to give you two or three scenarios um, or times where Jesus can help you do nice things for others um, or just help you do cool things. All right. So how about this? Here we go. What can you do when you're at the store with your mom and dad? Okay. Tell me, what is something that you can do? Okay, you can walk close to your parents and listen to them when, whenever they tell you to do something. Yes, you can do that. Um, that practicing your listening ears and being obedient to your mom and dad. Um, you can even help them carry the groceries. Um, that is very helpful. Um, be thinking about your parents and being helpful for them. Um, is there anything else you can do? Maybe maybe you can help push the the buggy or the shopping cart. That is something nice that you can do for them. All right, good job, guys. All right, so let's think about one more thing. Hmm, what can you do? What can Jesus help you do at home? Let's think. Well, also at home, Jesus can help me listen to my parents. So when you're at home, whenever your mom tells you to do something or your dad tells you to do something, or grandma or grandpa or your aunt and uncle, whenever they tell you to do something, you have to listen. So Jesus can help you listen. Jesus can help you clean your room um, or clean around the house. Um, Jesus can help you say kind words to your family, like your brothers or your sisters. Um, there's so many things that Jesus can help us do. Um, and Jesus can help us do all of it. He wants us to love others. He wants to, to care for others. Um, and uh, yeah. And so always look for ways that you see that Jesus can help you. All right. And so that is it for today. I'm so excited to start the summer out with you guys. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. All right. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.
some treasures at the beach, did you? Oh, hi, Ollie. Someone paid this cool heart rock, and it reminds me of all the things I love. Love is important. It's true. I know the biggest love ever for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Aisha, welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see what I made today? Ta-da! <laughs> I call them my heart full of love cupcakes. They've got hearts on top and yummy red frosting, and when you take a bite, they are full of red and pink heart sprinkles. They are so fun! <laughs> they go with today's story about why we should have a heart full of love for others. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible starts with God. Do you know that God loves you so much? It's true. Stretch out your arms as far as you can. Yes, stretch really far. <laughs> Good! God loves you bigger than your arms can stretch. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> okay, you can put them down now. Because God loves us so much, He gave us the best gift ever. God gave us His Son, Jesus, to be our friend forever. Jesus was born on the very first Christmas. Did Jesus stay a little baby? No! Jesus grew up to do amazing things and show us how God wants us to live and how to love others. No matter where Jesus went or what He was doing, Jesus stopped to show others that He loved them. One day, Jesus stopped to talk to a man named Zacchaeus, even though Zacchaeus had made lots of bad choices. Jesus loved Zacchaeus no matter what. Then, another day, Jesus had been teaching all day and he wanted to take a rest. But Jesus loved the crowd and wanted to help them. So he kept teaching them instead of going away. There was also a time when one of Jesus's friends, Peter, told people that he didn't know Jesus and wasn't friends with him. How would you feel if someone said they weren't your friend? 
I would feel sad and it would probably be hard to forgive them. But Jesus did forgive Peter. Jesus loved Peter and forgave him for telling people they weren't friends. Jesus is an amazing friend and God sent him to show us how to love everyone. Jesus taught us to stop and listen to our friends. Jesus taught us to help our friends. Jesus taught us to forgive our friends. When we stop to listen, help, and forgive, we are loving like Jesus taught us to. Jesus can help us love everyone. Jesus can help us do everything. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God loves us so much. He gave Jesus so we can choose love in all we do. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus to be our friend forever. Jesus can help me choose to love and love can change the world. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good. Hey. One way I can choose love is by FaceTiming my grandma. I can tell her I love her and show her my cool rocks. See you next time. I can do everything through Christ, who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13 I can do everything through Christ, who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13